Hi, welcome to my birthday party. Come on in. Hi, I'm JC Howell. I'm 11 years old and next week I'm going to be 12. I have been in 4-H for four years now. In this culinary challenge, I decided to go with the theme of a birthday party since I'm going to be 12 next week. I chose these colors because my mom had a bridal shower for one of her friends, and I turned out I really liked the colors that she had. On tonight's menu, we have Chinese rib tips, a green salad with a raspberry vinaigrette, mashed, smashed potatoes, cantaloupe, and for dessert is a sparkling popcorn. Your options for a drink is water and tea. For this year's culinary challenge, the secret ingredient was popcorn. So I really like popcorn, so I decided for the theme, I would go with the sparkling popcorn. I started out doing an old fashioned popcorn way. I took an old stock pot and I put oil in the bottom of the pan and put some popcorn kernels and waited for it to pop. When it was done popping, I put it out on a Reynolds wrap on the table and waited for it to cool. While, while it was cooling, I melted some chocolate. While the chocolate, when the chocolate was done, I drizzled it on top of the popcorn. I put some sprinkles on top of the chocolate and waited, it, waited for it to harden and cool. So when it was done, you would be able to eat it. And then I put it in this pretty cup. I really hope you enjoyed my birthday party just as much as I did. Thanks for coming. My name is Mackenzie Vanderwall. I'm 11 years old and full for each years old. Tonight we're going to be having a movie night with pop, with turkey and ham sandwiches on popcorn bread with cheese, carrot sticks, broccoli florets, and ranch dressing, apple and banana yogurt salad, and popcorn cherry jigglers. And for the drink, water, milk, or tea. And I chose to make a pop, to have this theme because when I think of popcorn, the movies are the first thing that comes to mind. And so I made popcorn bread. And you make the bread by first popping uh, any amount of popcorn. Then you take that popcorn, measure it out, and then you grind it into flour and then you make the rest of the bread as if you would with any other type of bread that has, ye and it has yeast in it. It's not a quick bread. And I had a lot of fun making it. Thank you. Now is that all set up? I think it's set. Hi, my name is Tucker Robinson. Welcome to my virtual culinary challenge. Would you like to uh, take a seat? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't know if I'll ever go back for it. Root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three straight.
strikes you out at the old ball game. Welcome to the Grand Slam. Now you see, the reason I chose to have a baseball team is because I love playing baseball. And my family loved, or used to love, playing it and loved watching it. So, the concession stands are all closed. You're at the baseball game. You're parched. You're hungry. What are you going to do? But don't worry. I'm here to help. You see, this is the grand slam. A nice take with you on the go meal for those amazing ball games. Starting out, we have the power hitter, which is smoked sliced chicken and cheese. And then the slide into home which is yogurt on the go. And then the at-bat combo, fruits and veggies. The reason there is fruits and veggies is because, well, you want to have good eyesight because the ball's coming right at you. Oh, but you didn't eat your carrots. So, ooh, you got striked out. That's why we have our delicious and nutritious carrots and broccoli. The home one, the home run hydrate, which is your personal water bottle. And then finally, the take me out to the ball game, which is the delicious peanuts and cracker jacks. Now for the texture, color, shape, size, temperature, and flavor, we start out with our fruits. The red crispy apple. Mm. The moment you bite into it, the juice is all sliding through. It's nice, radiant red color. First, the temperature nice, cool, and crispy. The size. Then we have our purple grapes. Nice, round, little squishy guys. Put them in your mouth, mm, refreshing. Our vegetables, carrots and broccoli. As I explained earlier, carrots are for those eyesight. And the broccoli, it's just nutritious by itself. Uh, the carrots, nice and crunchy, gradient orange. And the broccoli, a nice subtle green with a crispy crisp. Now for our grains, we have the popcorn, which is going to be delicious with the caramel on it. I mean, come on. Caramel. And with the side of nuts, mm, crunchy and crisp. Oh, speaking of the nuts, we're going to move on to protein, which has the sliced smoked chicken and the nuts. You see, the nuts has, like I said earlier, a real nice crunchy to them. Especially good when you're having the peanuts and cracker jacks. And for the sliced chicken, we have a nice shade of white and brown and I mean, there's no other way to explain the flavor other than smoky. It's just really good. And savory, especially savory. Now for our dairy, we have the classic yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Just plain white yogurt. Delicious, tangy, and smooth. My favorite. And then the yellow string cheese. <sighs> Brings me back. You just take a bit off and eat it. I don't know what you're thinking if you're biting into it. Come on, it's string cheese. And it's got a nice shade of yellow. Take it off. Now, food safety. It's not too big of a thing for this meal because, well, main thing, peanuts and cracker jacks, but still you need to be careful. You gotta wash your hands before handling any food and wash your hands before eating your food. You never cross contaminate. That's basically chop, chop with the carrots and then chop, chop with the meat or chop chop with the meat and then chop chop with the carrots. That creates bacteria and that is just bad. Like if you're serving that to someone that isn't allergic to carrots but is allergic to uh, the ham, well, they're gonna get an allergic reaction. Also, the bacteria. It combines and makes bad bacteria. Um, you gotta wash your veggies and fruits before cutting them up and serving them. And you want to put your stuff into different containers, like no carrots and meats. You got to separate them. Carrots are your meat in the container because that can also make cross contamination. Now, time management and order of preparations. Our sliced smoked chicken should only take about three hours to well, slice. I mean, not slice, uh, smoke and cool, and then ten minutes to slice. Our popcorn, which is well, peanuts and cracker jacks 
It can take about 10 minutes to ready it up, and then baking is an hour and five minutes. Our fruits and veggies should only take about five minutes. So what I would say, the first two, which was a sliced chicken and the peanut butter cracker jacks, you should do it the day or the morning of the baseball game or the day before. And the fruits and veggies you can just do right before you go there. Now the costs, uh, the chicken will cost about $15. And the peanut butter cracker jacks should only cost two because, well, there's not really much in it, but it's still pretty good. Um, our fruits and veggies, we have about $6.22, mainly just for the fresh fruits. Yogurt, we have $1.85, just pick it up from the store. And water, $0 because you're going to bring your own personal container. Okay. Peanuts and Cracker Jacks, the ingredients are well, popcorn, unpopped, uh, then brown sugar, um, syrup, corn syrup, that is, uh, butter, water, vanilla extract, baking soda, and salted peanuts. What you want to do is, uh, basically, get all the stuff ready and out. You want to mix the, you want to mix the butter, the water, the, uh, the salt, the baking sugar, baking sugar? Salt and baking soda. What am I thinking? Um, you want to mix those all together, whisk it around a bunch. Also, yeah, just whisk it around a bunch. When it's all nice and foamy, what you want to do? Oh, forgot to say this. While you're whisking it, it should be on a hot stove. Let it simmer for about four minutes. Uh, take it off the simmer. Uh, pour it on your pre-popped popcorn. Pour it on there. Um, mix it around a little bit. Get it all sorted up. And then what you want to do is. Well, you want to pop it in the oven. Every 10 minutes or so, you want to take it out and then, well, mix it around a bit more. <clears throat> now, time for our farm to fork, or as I like to call it, crop to pop. Now, there are three different types of corn in Nebraska. Well, actually in the whole entire U.S. Three types of corn. There's sweet corn, there's crop, field corn, and then you got popcorn. Now, you might be thinking, I put this corn into my oven, but it didn't pop. Well, that's because it has to be the special popcorn. Now, popcorn, basically, how it gets from crop to pop, first off, they harvest it. After that, they put it in a semi and ship it off, and they go to the producer, which basically get all this, uh, well, kernels out. And from there, they ship it on over to the place that packages them and to the place that pops them and then packages them. And from those two different places, they send them out to the shops where they are sold to you, where you can have them either popped or unpopped. And also, fun fact, Nebraska is one of the nine states that mostly make uh, crops, as in crops, I mean popcorn. That specific one. Now, it's time for the taste test. Do you have any questions? Welcome to my Thanksgiving dinner. My name is Mackenzie Mum. I have been in 4-H for six years and I'm 13. For my child, today I have a Thanksgiving dinner tea theme. For my challenge ingredient, I have a popcorn dressing. And my popcorn dressing is cornbread, popcorn, freshly chopped onion, chicken broth, eggs, and sage. Also to go along with my popcorn dressing, I have turkey, dinner rolls, sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, apple pie, and with it is milk. And my centerpiece, I... There is pumpkins, 
leaves and grass and some ribbon. For my napkin, I made a pumpkin out of it. It has a pump or a cloth towel ring and a cloth towel and a cinnamon stick for my stem. Also, to go along with my dishes, I have my agor and a pumpkin to go with or for salt and pepper. These dishes are Thanksgiving themed and Thanksgiving is very important to my family and we host it here at my house every year so my mom has lots of dishes. Thanks for coming. trail ride menu that's my theme because me and my grandma whenever we get to town the funniest thing at my house besides it's flying is going on a trail ride or any ride really my my menu is a happy trail ride menu is a picture of me and my grandma on our horses a peanut butter sandwich would be our protein and also our bread. It can be really any type of sandwich. Cheese, but yeah. And apple. <coughs> that crunchy, juicy apple. You might have some extra for your horse. You never know. He just gives you a snack. And then carrot. <coughs> that crunchy boy. Oh, apple, my bad. It's a and then carrot, that orange, <laughs> crunchy carrot. It would be our, you know, vegetables. And you might want to pack some. Your horse would like some too. You never know. And that yogurt, that creamy strawberry yogurt. <clears throat> Saucy dairy. Mm, any flavor you choose. And don't forget your personal canteen or water bottle. As long as it holds something and doesn't leak. You don't want that. And a trail ride trail mix. If you really want to eat it. And this. And I have a trail ride trail mix, you know. And then chocolate, dark chocolate chips. Mmm, another tasty sweet one. And then dried cranberries. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Trust me, it's like your dessert. So good. Would you like to try some? I'm just, I really wish that you could try some. Probably wondering, well, does your grandma forget things? Oh, you bet she does. Once she said, how does popcorn get become popcorn? I said, Grandma, you're forgetting. And I can sure tell you. First, the farmers harvest it. Then, it goes to the factory. And then, it goes to the one and only Pro... Pro... watching the movie. Mm, mm, mm. Or you know what I'm gonna do too. While going on a nice sweet ride on a horse. Hi, I'm Amy Jane. 